This is a demonstration of aorta direct carotid bypass. The indication for this procedure in our selected patient is symptomatic, manifesting in dizziness, severe innominate osteal disease demonstrated here on CTA chest in a patient with a prior carotid subclavian bypass for symptomatic subclavian stenosis. First, to orient the viewers, the patient's head is on screen left and the feet are on screen right. Transverse incision is made over their second right intercostal space at the midclavicular line. The intercostal muscles are divided. The third rib was then divided using rib cutters to allow for adequate retraction. A sternal retractor was then placed over an alexis tissue retractor. The pericardial fat is excised. And the pericardium was subsequently entered using electrocautery. Then, a supraclavicular incision is made medial to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This is taken down through the platysma, down to the common carotid artery. The artery was circumferentially dissected. In view, the patent ringed carotid to subclavian bypass graft is presented. Using blunt dissection, a retroclavicular retroinominate, i.e. posterior to the brachiocephalic vein tunnel was created so as not to induce venous compression. Demonstrated here is an 8 mm Dacron graft which has been passed through the retroclavicular tunnel. A side biting ascending aortic clamp is applied to maintain distal flow. A longitudinal arteriotomy is subsequently made and extended with pot scissors. Stay sutures are placed. As a side note, we would like to remind our viewers that we routinely heparinize our patients to an ACT level above 250 prior to any clamping. The graft is then beveled and fashioned in preparation for anastomosis. Our proximal anastomosis was constructed using 3O proline in the standard fashion. Clamp is removed and an anastomosis checked for leaks. Temporary unclamping of the graft limb demonstrates adequate inflow without kinking or twisting. The common carotid artery was subsequently clamped proximally then distally. Our distal anastomosis was then constructed using 5O proline suture in the standard fashion. Clamps were removed and our anastomosis was free of leaks. We have elected to empirically plate this patient as the clinical experience in our institution demonstrates superior pain control. This concludes our video and we hope you enjoyed our demonstration of aortocarotid bypass.